Hello Major League Insiders, Jeff Cavalier, back for another video blog. And one thing I alluded to last week when I was actually one week ago today, watching the uh, Home Run Derby, which by the way, that was painfully long, like three and a half hours, I couldn't believe how long that lasted, but you know, we were talking about, I alluded to uh, Cruz, you know, from the Rangers, and man, I have to be honest with you, I'm up on every baseball player, and you know, having spent three years in, in uh, Major League Baseball, Yes, it was primarily the National League. I still like to follow everybody that was in the league. And I really never heard that much of Nelson Cruz up until last week. And um, he was pretty impressive, I'll tell you, you know, to say the least. But one thing that I alluded to in that email was how sometimes as a late bloomer, there's more pressure on you to continue to succeed uh, and prove that you're not a fluke so that I think those guys tend to find themselves in situations where they can overtrain um, and do a little too much and then wind up burning out and in the long run suffering some, some, some sort of an of a, of a injury or health issue that would prevent them from actually sticking in the big leagues. On the other hand, I also said that there's a situation where you come up as a young, highly touted phenom where people expect a lot of you and you wind up doing again too much because of because of the expectations as well. So, you know, like let's take a guy like um, a guy that I worked with, with you know, with Mike Pelfrey. Uh, Mike Pelfrey is a very highly talented, and he's going to be a, a one of the most phenomenal pitchers in the National League. I, I really feel he's he's unbelievable. But a lot of pressure gets thrown on him at an early age because when he comes up, he's you know he's he's a, a number one draft pick. He pitches 75, 80 innings, I think it was like 90 innings in the major, in the minor leagues, and then next year winds up pitching over 200 innings. That jump in workload is enormous, especially for an arm that just hasn't done that before and hasn't really been accustomed to not just that kind of workload, but that kind of workload at a major league level where you're facing big league hitters every single night with a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure on your team to win. So in both instances, you got the young phenom and you got the guy that kind of, kind of you know, sneaks up on everybody. They're both being held to these uh, you know, expectations that sometimes wind up being their undoing health-wise you know, health because they wind up doing too much to either prove that they still belong there or prove that they're worth all their hype and, and expectations. So here's my one tip to you guys out there. Get yourself a solid foundation at an early age. So get a work ethic, get a program that works for you at an early age to, so that no matter what the expectations are, no matter what the ebb and flow of your performance is, you still have something as your base that you can go back to all the time and you know that this is your foundation for pre preparation for getting you ready to perform at whatever level it is, triple A, single A, uh, you know, rookie ball, or at the big league level. So you want to have a foundation. For me, I, I can't recommend more strongly the Major League Insider Training System. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have already purchased that and I thank you for that. but. It's so important to get whatever it is. You could choose a different program. I mean, that's totally up to you. But get a program that serves as your foundation for your fitness, for your preparation, for your physical preparation to compete every day at whatever level it is. And you're going to avoid the ebbs and flows and the susceptibility to injury that those guys would that don't necessarily have that kind of a, uh, of a home base and a program that they can call their own. So that's my tip for this week. What I want to bring to you, actually going to send another video, I promise, another video to you this week, showing you another one from our arm deceleration series to actually speed up your arm velocity by using this kind of a band. This is a really unique, cool band. It's not like the tubing with a handle or anything. This is a different band, pretty thick, pretty tense, but you can do some really unique things that you can't do with other bands with this. I'll show you uh, one exercise that you can really do to start throwing the ball harder literally within just a few workouts. All right, so thanks guys for watching. I'll be back here again later this week and uh, we will uh, continue to bring in some really cool stuff. If you haven't already, head over here to MajorLeagueInsiderTraining.com. That's right, MajorLeagueInsiderTraining.com and go grab your copy of the Major League Insider Training System today. I'll talk to you soon guys. Take it easy.